Hello, hello, how are you on this fine day? Traffic. Well, today on the bus, we're going to try doing a lot of stuff. We're going to try taking out these four windows. We have to remove all these rivets, all those rivets at the top, remove all the caulking around the windows, then hopefully I'll be able to get one of these pieces of sheet metal up in place. Not sure how well that will go. It's one o'clock in the afternoon right now. I should have enough time to put all that up. To get the sheet metal in place, I'm gonna be using these double hook ratcheting straps in order to get the sheet metal in place. This hook on the long strap, I'm gonna put on the drip lip on this side. One over here, one over here. The strap is 20 feet long, so it should easily go over top of the bus, come all the way down. Then with this one, which has the ratchet on it, I hook the sheet metal onto that and crank it into place. That's the theory anyway. You can't see the welder, it's sitting right there. But the welder, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of welding. I have to put right where that tape is, I have to put, I'm gonna have to put a one and a half inch by one and a half inch metal bar so I can have something to screw that new window into. And doing those windows is gonna be fun as well. I bought them used, so I have no inner ring on them. So I'm gonna actually have to drill holes on the outside of the window of the window frame itself so I can screw them into the bus. We'll worry about that when we get around to it. Anyway, just let me get set up and uh, we'll start with ripping out some windows. Okay, we'll get started on the back window here. I'm going to just be removing these top rivets. I'll be removing that row of bottom rivets. I have all this caulking to get. There's even caulking under the drip lip. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. So I have to carve all this out in order to get the window out. Plus there's a couple screws on the inside I have to remove in order to get the window out. Then I have to clean this all up. A little bit of a windy day. So I'll set you up on the top of my SUV and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing. If I was prepared to do all that, I would do it. So just give me a few minutes and I'll go get the other tools that I need. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I'll just go remove those four screws, then you'll see me pop out the window. Easy stuff. And that's all it takes to remove a window. Well, well these windows anyway. On to the next three. Another important thing when working on a school bus or whatever you're doing, when I showed you those ratchet straps, you saw how 
much of a cluster the inside of the bus was. I should have cleaned that up before I started doing the work. I'm, I'm tripping on stuff all over inside in there. So I should have really cleaned that up first. You should have your area cleaned first before you start working. Better chance of not having any injuries. Trust me, since I've started on this, I've got quite a few injuries. So I'll just continue cutting these out. And, uh, sorry, a wasp in your mind. And, uh, probably see it buzzing around me. But anyway. Let's bring you inside so you can see what I'm doing next. Okay, so to take out these three windows, I have to remove these two screws, these two screws, and these two screws. Can you see these two screws? I don't know if you can or not. Well, anyway, if you can't, there's still screw, two screws over there I have to remove. Easy stuff. Then take a chisel or a small crowbar or something. There's a little lip up here. Just gotta... Just have to pry it a little bit. Maybe a lot. That could have been bad. And that's all it takes to remove a window. That one was easy because I had already removed that window once just to see how how was how was done. Just gotta move you out of the way, I'm scared I'm gonna send you flying. There, easy peasy. Now for the next step. I'm not sure if I'll show you the next step. It's going to be a lot of frustration going on. I don't think you'd want to see me losing my temper. But anyway, the next step is to remove all this old caulking and garbage here. And as you can see, this lip comes up, around, and then down. I have to cut this lip off. So I'm either going to use a sawzall, or some people know it as a reciprocating saw, or a grinder, but I'm going to cut, cut right across there and take that out. I got ideas already on how I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll let you tag along for the ride. Now let me just get set up, I'll clean up this mess a little bit, and uh, we'll get to it. My brother had a somewhat smart idea. If he's watching this, he's going to say, of course it's a smart idea, it's my idea. Since this lip doesn't affect the window at all, I don't have to remove the lip. I figured I'd have to. The only problem now, hopefully I don't drop the window, or you for that matter, is up top here, I have to try getting that underneath the drip lip. I didn't see that problem when I first bought these windows and when I was uh, first taking measurements. The old windows were in place, I didn't even think about it at the time. So yeah, that's an issue. Not much of one, but it will be. So I'm going to get geared up and uh, We'll have some fun cleaning these windows. I said it before and I'll say it again. Always wear the proper personal protective equipment. I can't state this enough. It's, 
it could save your life. That's all there is to it. So, back to work. using a chisel now the trick is going to be trying to get up into that up underneath that drip lip safely Fifteen-year-old caulking doesn't like to cooperate. So that seems to have done it. I'll just clean up all this stuff, and I'll bring you back when I uh, start working on the rivets. Okay, so now we're going to start taking out these rivets on the outside of the bus. These little guys are simple. I'm just going to take this all here, put it in the center, smack it a couple times, and that middle part will just fly in. Then I'll just have to take the air chisel or just a regular chisel and just hit this outer ring and it comes out. Up top here, these guys are a little bit more difficult. These ones I'm going to have to smack in a couple of times with the awl, just so I can get the drill bit in there properly and drill it out. These ones I'm going to have to smack a couple of times with the awl, just cause an indent, then drill them out. Stick around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that's all the easy ones done. I'll show you what that looks like. The 3 16 one, they pretty much flew right through. No problems. The quarter inch ones, you can still see the pin inside. Not much of a problem. Once I chisel the shield out, I still have to hammer in whatever remains inside. Because the Taking the chisel to the shield here will only, will only remove the top layer. Whatever is still inside still has to come out. So I'll just show you a quick one of how I do this. And then I'll shut you guys off because this is quite, kind of irritating and frustrating. And I'm slowly getting tired. So like I said, I take my awl, go right into the center of the rivet. Hopefully that's enough of an indent so when I go to use the drill, it'll drill through. Bit. Even though these are quarter inch rivets, I want to use a 3 16 bit. I want to use a 3 16 bit because if I use a quarter inch and I'm 
off, I'll make the hole a little bigger, then I cannot use quarter inch rivets anymore. So if I use a 3 16 I could drill out the center and I can still use the quarter inch rivet even if I am off a little bit. That makes sense? Makes sense in my head. So this is the one I drilled out. Nice clean all the way through. Once I take the chisel to it, the shield will come right out, no problems. So I have to do that along that entire length. Four windows, 14 per window. I'm guessing a couple of hours. I'll see you then when I'm done. Well, I just ran into a new dilemma. I took all the rivets out of the windows, went smoothly. I had help from my brother, went pretty quickly, still took a few hours to do. Now the problem. In this window bay, I was going to chop this out, weld a piece of structural steel to here, then I was going to put in a 48 inch window. Problem is, I took out all the rivets, I was expecting this to be structurally sound, It's only 20 gauge steel. So now wherever I'm putting in a new window and I have to put in a new cross member for the uh, window support, I'm going to have to weld a piece from here to here first, then put in the window support. Things just got a little bit more complicated with the windows. I'll get set up for the welding, I just have to cut a piece of steel for this, cut a piece of steel for that, then I'll get the welding done, hopefully. <laughs> 